Hi. There are many things that come between us and the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit's power and the Holy Spirit's activity in our lives. There are many things that hold us back from all that God wants to give us and do in us and through us. And the most basic of it, the root of it, from which everything else comes, everything else that prevents us from having the closest to the Holy Spirit and the fullness of the Holy Spirit that we're called to have. It boils down to this. We are not totally convinced that God really, really cares about us. We are not deep down believing that what we want really matters to God. Because we've been projecting onto God what humans have been and done in our lives. Especially the authority figures in our lives, starting with our parents. For example, if your father was absent from the home through death, divorce, work, and I mean by work, I mean a lot of work like traveling, we grow up feeling that God the Father is distant. We project our human father's distance from us onto God the Father. Well, this works in many different ways. We project onto the Holy Spirit human limitations. So right now what I'd like to do is help you begin a spiritual exercise in opening yourself more to the immense love of the Holy Spirit. Spend today, and make this a spiritual practice for every day, thinking about, reflecting about how much God is delighted in you. Yes, delighted. Of course he knows your sins. Of course he knows your imperfections. Of course he knows your faults better than you do. But that's not the only thing he's looking at. He's looking at the good that you do. He's looking at his own reflection in you. The good that is in you is God himself. And God is resonating with himself that is in you. God, the Holy Spirit, is delighted in you and is filling you with good things and is filling you with joy and wants to release in you everything that God has in mind for you. You know, Jesus said in John 14, 12, that if you believe in me, if you follow me, if you make me the Lord of your life, you will do the things that I do and even greater things. To have this, we need to be fully alive and surrender to the Holy Spirit. To do that, we need to know that the Holy Spirit is delighted in us. So, look around. Look around and pay attention to all the ways that God is saying, I love you. I care about you. I delight in doing good things for you. you know, for example, what is the beauty in nature that God has placed around you? God is with you. God is giving you treats every day. Take, for example, you walk down a lane, you walk down a path, and you see the light of the sun shining through the greenery. This is God putting things on display for you. This is God giving you something enjoyable to look at to bless your day and to connect you closer to Him because He cares about you so much. He loves you that much that he gives you beautiful things to look at. Yes, my friend, God delights in you. Pay attention to all the ways that he's revealing that. Every little thing that goes right, every little thing and every big thing that reveals God's hand at work, that shows that his timing got involved in something, 
and let the Holy Spirit speak to you about how much he cares about you and how much God is trying to reveal that to you through the things around you and the circumstances. Come Holy Spirit, renew us. Come Holy Spirit, you have our permission to change us. Amen.